I believe it's important to focus on early mathematics because it's a foundational time in kids' lives where they decide whether they're good at math or bad at math. They learn what math is. They learn whether or not they have a space in math. We see in research that when kids are born, they see the world as shapes. And so math is already in their lives when they start off. And making that connection early on will help them see that math is real world. Math is already a part of kids' lives. They're really concerned with how many things they have and whether they have more or less than someone else. They're concerned about fairness. They're concerned about um, negotiating the physical material world. Mathematics is a, is a tool to satisfy those, those questions. So first we want students to be able to, to see the world around them and ask questions in wonder and then have the means and understanding to problem solve and explore and not only understand those for themselves but to be also to be able to communicate um, outwardly to to those around them. It's okay when math is confusing. Math is confusing at times and it's okay if it's messy in the beginning and if you don't have all the ideas. That's just part of the learning process and and also that we learn math together. You know um, we have each other for support and it's not just about one person doing it all. Oh, and what do you notice? I, three, I see three, three birds. Uh huh. And, and two birds. In an early math learning space, I hope to be seeing lots of joy. I want to be seeing big smiles. I want to be hearing kids shouting about things that they're figuring out or that they're surprised about or even things that they disagree about. I love it when I see two kids in a math class really get into a disagreement about how something works or what the answer is because then I know they're both thinking really hard. Here she count the tens and the fours. Can everyone count the tens with me? 30, 30, 40, 50. I want to hear noise. I want to see what I call structure chaos. I want to see kids tinkering and playing with things and counting out loud and questioning and debating one another in respectful ways. I want teachers to teach, but teach in a way where they're more asking questions more than do this, do that, do this. Just taking what kids are already doing, what they're naturally coming with, and just helping them build upon that. It takes empowering our teachers. We have teacher leaders in our buildings. We have coaches who um, support our teachers in many different ways. And we have a true understanding um, with our core beliefs across the district that we will meet our students where they are. You have the right to make mistakes. You have the right to be heard. You have the right to not understand things sometimes. So making sure that the kids understand they have all these rights as learners collectively in the classroom. I want all kids to be proud of themselves and see themselves as mathematicians. And I hope that they can understand a little bit more broadly what mathematics is, so I hope they can find their joy and their confidence in themselves that math doesn't need to be one certain way, it's however they might be seeing it. That we see the value in each student that walks through the door, right? That we recognize that parents send their absolute best. Whatever it is, that child is their absolute best, their most precious gift. And so that as we're teaching, we're coming from that point of view. When you look at the community, I think it's really important to know who your community is, um, the demographics, and really kind of honoring who they are. I try to communicate as much as I can just to let parents know that we're in this together with their child's learning. I attribute all my success as a teacher to that because once your families are on board and your students feel safe and family and the parents see that you care about their child's education and learning, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm.